Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to The Basement on this day where I am at an episode that a lot of you are very excited for me to reach, where you say this is where the season takes off. I'm excited. It's season one, episode nine of Lucifer, titled A Priest Walks Into a Bar. So, okay, right, Dan. Dan shot Malcolm and let this woman, who he claims to care for, wife, ex-wife, I don't know, mother of his child, <laughs> take the shit from the station this whole time. And it was him. Dan, Dan, I say, let's just dive right into it because I don't have nothing else to say. So I'm gonna get under the big cozy blanket. I have with me some water because I'm going out later, which is why I have the big hair and it's gonna, it's gonna be a thing, just ignore it. Just ignore it. I hope you have your favorite blanket and beverage with you as well. You're gonna remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon. My spidey sense is going off right now and it's hurting my head. And um, yeah, <laughs> let's just get to it. Lucifer, I don't wanna hear it, we're done. There was betrayal everywhere. And you, and right back to hell you go. So if Lucifer goes back to hell without his wings, what does that mean? Ah, <laughs> this is this kid's dream. Stop. Can't think why. Can I stay, please? Sir, can I stay? Does it happen to you? You know, like in those wonderful internet videos. Never. Well, that changes tonight. Come. Come on, come, come. <laughs> I'm still on the clock. Oh, you'll always be on the clock. But how often will you be here? Good point, sir. Good point. The Britneys. Go on. What are you waiting for? Have fun. <laughs> Just get consent and you're good, pumpkin. Get consent. Be right there, darlings. So it seems to me as if Lucifer is working some things, because this is a level of debauchery we have not seen from him. But I didn't in join a bit. them. Three Britneys in the jacuzzi. Three. Why didn't I join them? Because you're evolving. Have you ever considered that all of this excessive partying may be your attempt to fill a void? Attempt? I filled five voids last night. They just weren't Britney. You sound... lonely. Have you been listening to a word I've said? I am never alone. I'm constantly surrounded by people, you know? A party whenever I desire. My bed never cold. Lucifer, being He's alone... so pretty. ...and being lonely are two entirely different things. But do you truly consider any of those people your friend? What about Maze? She's dead to me now. On the outs, I'm afraid. Long story, filled with betrayal. You actually make a cameo in it. How about Detective Decker? How about Detective Decker? If you consider her your friend? <sighs> I'm not sure what we are. I mean, but someone else is here to see you for a favor. Not in the mood, Maze. Trust me. You don't want to miss this one. Is it Dan? Hmm. Dr. Keenan. Oh, no. Oh. Good morning, Star. Father Frank Lawrence. Priest walks into a bar. I've heard this one before. Never seen it, though. Padre, how did you, of all people, find me? Don't look yeah. That's what I'm wondering. I have friends from all walks of life. People who tell me you're the man to see when you run out of options. But he's got the Lord for his options. I'm here about a neighborhood youth center. Ooh. Sounds dreadful. It is. When you realize it's being used as a front for an illegal drug operation. The center's director, Lenny Arrieta, is recruiting kids from my church to move his product. What? So this is about young boys. Of course it is. One in particular. Oh, Lucifer, tread the line, tread the line. He's had it rough. Lost both his parents at six. Bounced from home to home, some juvie. But deep down, a good kid. So diddling this one, are you? 
And why not go to the police? Got something to hide, do you? They were useless. Couldn't find anything on Arietta. Well, why not ask your boss, then? Eh? The Almighty himself. I already have. Oh, no luck. On the contrary. I believe he led me to you. What is it you really want? Is to put my fist to Arietta's face. Ha! <laughs> there it is. Wrath. Oh, no. But it's kind of just yeah. idea. You have demons inside. My demon tends the bar. <laughs> Took a second. You don't know anything about me. Oh, I know plenty. You and I are natural sworn enemies. So you're going to help me or not? My answer to you, father, is a big fat no. Until he talks to Chloe? Whom? Huh. Oh. You're lucky I don't have any active cases. I got thoughts. I got thoughts. Context. No, 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 no. I don't give a damn about the drug dealer. We're here to investigate the priest. Oh, Lucifer. What better way to stick it to dear old dad than prove that those that speak on his behalf aren't as virtuous as they pretend to be? I got thoughts! Or I could just interrogate this youth director by myself. No, just let me do the talking. Mr. Arietta? Is Mr. Arietta dead? He's dead. I told you the priest was up to something. Right, okay, so Lucifer having a bias against clergy, kind of understandable, but the depth and breadth of wow, wow. I found this. Ooh, what's that? It's a voice modulator. Hey, can you not do that? Detective, I am your father. It's not a toy, Lucifer. You're the head counselor, right? Uh, yeah, um, Eric Doyle. Any idea who might have done this? No. I mean, everyone liked Lenny. So he had no enemies whatsoever, no? Especially any who wear clerical collars. Yeah, that guy's always coming around here and getting into arguments with Lenny. Hmm. But he's a priest. Do you know if Mr. Arietta was involved in any drug activity? I mean, I wish he was. That would have made him more interesting. <laughs> Father Frank kill Mr. Arietta. Yes. No, no way. Ever since my parents died, he feels like he's got to watch out for me or something. But he's a good guy, he's just a little, just a little annoying. See, hmm. annoying. <laughs> Ooh, annoying. That's him, Frank Lawrence. <gasps> Oh. Well, his criminal record's pretty extensive. Oh. Some battery, disorderly conduct, drug charges. See? Not very priest like. But nothing in the past 10 years. Welcome. Okay, are we gonna talk about what happened? Which part? Our kiss, Dan. It's kind of a big deal. Right, I'm sorry. Chloe, I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But we should talk. Okay, do you want to do dinner at my place, get takeout? Yeah. Talk to you later. Yeah. Why him? Why? Why? Exclude the fact that they have a child together. Why does she want to get back together with Dan? Go on, kiss him, Malcolm? Jeez! So soon after, I'm um, my partner's suicide. <sighs> I'm your partner now. Don't worry, I already got a new partner. I convinced the higher ups to give me my first choice. You. Who was Dan's partner? Who was Dan's partner before? Well, what better way to keep an eye on you, am I right? I saw you talking to Decker. You want to tell her, don't you? Did we hear why Dan shot him and why he was there. This ain't the first time we've been partners. I looked the other way a few times that didn't make us partners. Sure it did. And it ate away at you until you finally had enough at Palmetto. I didn't have a choice. Oh, okay, we're finding out now. You were just protecting that wife of yours. She saw me, I went for my gun. Boom. No, you took me out before I could take her out. No, no hard feelings. Oh, that was the 
play. What do you want from me, Malcolm? Nothing much. You're gonna go into evidence and borrow something for me. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. The jam on his mouth, I feel is very foreshadowy. <laughs> what an entrance! <laughs> Stay here while I look for Father Frank and don't get into any trouble. He wants to hear her sin so bad. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. It's been three hours since my last... Three hours?! Speedy sinner, I like it. No, I just need more guidance. I'm still having lustful thoughts about another man. Splendid. My husband's limo driver. Uh, when I was here earlier, Father Frank told me I should be faithful to my husband. Well, I don't know why you're listening to that fool. I mean, let's be honest. If you wanted to be faithful, then you wouldn't be fantasizing about your limo driver now, would you? And she's back again three hours later. Then you should act on them. I mean, you can always come back here, confess, and all will be forgiven. Isn't that how this system of yours works? What do you think you're doing? For your penance, ten Bloody Marys and a good shag. <laughs> we know you're there. Forgotten about our deal? Oh, what was the deal? Because I brought you back from the dead for a single purpose. Oh, he told him that. He told him that. Why me? Why you? Yeah, I mean, I... It must be something special. Yeah, because I know you'll do anything to avoid going back to hell. So don't you worry, your shiny little head I'm already on it. All right? Everything's going according to plan. Don't keep me waiting. It's gonna have. It's gonna frame Dan and killing Lucifer. I promise you. I, I got this. Okay, creepy black bag just floating there. When was the last time you saw Lenny Arietta? This morning. Despite the restraining order? I answered to a higher authority. Not today, you don't. Why were you fighting over Connor? Because I'm worried that Arietta's gonna pull Connor into his drug ring. So what, you give him a right hook? I, I had troubles with the man, but he didn't deserve to die. And I certainly didn't kill him. Can you account for your whereabouts between 11.30 and 12 this morning? Confession with Miss Limo Driver. Confessions. Miss Madison had a lot to say. Took up the whole hour. Uh, just spoke to his alibi. What? The MILF in confession. Well, maybe the Padre has a twin brother who also takes confession. That way he could still be guilty. Lucifer, seriously, oh. will you trust him? No, 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 no! Who's... Is that Malcolm? Malcolm was gonna take out innocent people? Or was that not Malcolm? This wasn't a random attack. They were shooting at you, but you don't seem surprised. What aren't you telling us? Keep the nose out of our business or else. The voice modulator from Arietta's office. You should have gone to the police with this. I assumed it was Arietta, and I'm not afraid of him. But if it's the spider. Spider. I've heard whispers of another dealer trying to take over Arietta's business. I have a confession to make. Finally! Oh, jeez. Lucifer! I lied when I said Connor was in danger of becoming involved. He already is. Dealing for Arietta. Connor's already in deep. Why go to all this trouble to protect him? He's a good kid, detective. There's still hope for him. Do you have a place to stay? We can offer police protection. I'm fine right here. This is my sanctuary. But if you're looking to lay low, I believe I know just the place. <laughs> oh gosh, he has none night. He's doing that night at the club. Wow. They went there. Padre, <laughs> does this not bother you? What can I say? I love this song. You sure you're gonna be okay in here, Father? This? Oh, absolutely. I grew up in places like this. Before the cloth, I was just Frank Lawrence, touring musician. Really? What about the release work? 
or the release. Police. Open for Dylan, Bowie, the Stone. You know what I mean. It was a crazy time. Thought the fun would never stop. Ten years ago, I was traveling with Connor and his family. Uh, Connor's dad was a drummer. We used to play together. Another car swerved into our lane, and uh, Connor lost both his parents that night. My daughter was with us, too. Oh, no. She didn't make it either. Oh, no. Well, you must have been awfully angry at your beloved God. I was so untethered, lost. Turning to him is what saved me. So, hold on. God stole your spawn, and then you decided to worship him? I can't really explain it, but somehow it made me feel that she was safe. That's when I discovered my faith. We might not always understand it, but God has a plan. Yes, I know. But why does everybody always think it's a good plan? Ooh, very good question, Lucifer. So, can we just go back to this absurd notion that you and I are in any way similar? You're right. We're not. Thank you. I'm probably a much better piano player than you are. <gasps> Duel! Challenge accepted! Something more upbeat, something a bit, um, I mean like, uh... Something like that? Yeah. Okay. Father has got a soul. You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like to take the top? Why not? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi. <clears throat> Keep going. Father Frank's story about the spider checks out, and I got a lead. Oh, will you stay here? I need the practice. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to narcotics, and one of their CIs said the spider's rumored to hang out here. So people know who Spider is. Please, the devil friends with a priest. That's absurd. It's absurdly adorable. You know, it's okay to admit that you like the guy. He's everything that I stand against, detective. Yeah, well, sometimes we get along best with the people we're most different from. Hey, look. Uh, little Miss Sun. Oh. What's that she's doing? Drug deal. Mm-hmm. Maybe she's the spider. Oh. Connor. He's just gone. Start shooting. Gone. Are they in the garbage cans? More because Connor's the spider. Traffic cam footage. Uh, from the church shooting. Oh. This doesn't prove Connor's the spider. Just proves he's a shooter. He fired into a room full of kids. Yes, but he shot up, didn't he? We'll do everything we can to bring him in peacefully. If you'll excuse me, I need some air. I have some digging to do. Will you watch over him until I get back? What? You want me to babysit the priest? I babysit you all the time. Well, that's gorgeous. <laughs> that's a gorgeous view. No thanks. Three years ago. <laughs> Still just... enjoy the ritual, though. <laughs> just hold it. Please tell me you didn't come out here to talk to him. This is as good a spot as any. <laughs> <laughs> right. He drinks that as if he's not enjoying it, as if it's just water. He's not savoring it. Sorry about the altar, boy. Surely, you know, you're not to blame. I mean, some people are just beyond saving. That's where you're wrong. There's still hope for him. How can you still have faith in this boy? God has faith in him, in all of us, even in our darkest moments. Oh, you really believe that? I do. Why don't you? Because he didn't have faith in me. I felt the way once too, but now I know deep in my heart, God has a plan for me. Oh, his plan for me was quite clear. <laughs> How do you know it's finished? What? 
one of my parishioners. Uh, a lot of them are still upset about the shooting. Excuse me. Mm -mm. It's Connor. There. I got what you wanted from evidence. Are we done? Mm -mm. Not by a long shot. Did you leave Father Frank upstairs? No, he took a call. I presume he came down here. Why would he do that? You know why? You know why? He was down here on his phone. Heard him talking to someone named Connor. He left mm. to go meet him. He left. He's probably trying to hide the little miscreant. Put his faith in God, not the police. Where would he hide him? Well, somewhere he considers safe, I assume. Church. Sanctuary. Well, the rain is very apropos for this moment. You don't want to do this. I know you. This isn't you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't have a choice. No, you're not alone. I'm here for you whenever you need me. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Go on and shoot the altar boys. In the leg or something, obviously. Just do it, Connor. Pull the damn trigger <gasps> already. Doyle. I think you're too attached to this preacher. You're going to have to show me that you're not. And you don't want to do it now. God's giving you a second chance. Right here. I, I, enough with the sermon, preacher. God, I'm just shoot this son of a bitch already. Just follow your heart, son. I have faith in you. Mm. Mm, do we? Do we? <gasps> I can't do it, Joy. Sorry. He's gonna shoot up. I can't allow weakness. Not when I've just taken control. No! Oh! I'm not afraid to die. Well, you should be. It's really boring where your head is. Uh, I hope so. I've had enough excitement for one life. At first, I didn't understand why God put you in my path. But then it hit me. Literally! Maybe he put me in yours. I highly doubt it. He gave up on me a long time ago. You're wrong, Lucifer. Remember, your father has a, has a plan. You know, Frank, Frank, oh no, time to pull the legs of the spider. Oh, this way. Why did you do this? I don't know, man. Why? You, you don't, don't know. Why? Why? Father Frank wouldn't want this. Stop. Some down. Maybe Father Frank was right. Maybe there's hope for him yet. You okay? No. He needs to talk to Dr. Linda's dad. You cruel, manipulative bastard. Is this all part of your plan? It's all just a game to you, isn't it? Oh, I can see the anger coming. I know punishment. And he did not deserve that. He followed your stupid rules, and it still wasn't good enough. Break your rules and you fall, follow them and you still lose! Nobody can win, so what's the point? What's the bloody point? I think I would sneak up on a man after you've all just been through an ordeal that you have just been through. I'm here for you. Oh. Really? I thought you could use a friend. Friend. Did you play? Mm. No, I don't. Come on, you must no. know something. Oh. <sighs> I had three years of lessons. Mm. This is all I remember. <laughs> Surely you must be joking. Wow. He is catching up. It's taking so long. What? Well, chill out a minute, dude. Here, have some waffles. Do you want to go back? Do you want to go back? I beg. 
Your 30 seconds in hell felt like 30 years. Oh, he was then. Tell me, who do you want me to kill? His name is Lucifer Morningstar. Unless... 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 Malcolm shoots Lucifer when Chloe is not around and Lucifer doesn't die. Because Amenadil doesn't know that bit. Because nobody does. But you all who told me. What slapped me in the face most this episode was just the pure hatred and venomousness that Lucifer had towards somebody who wore their faith in God visibly on them. He wasn't just like annoyed at all. He hated it. And the passion with which he hated was it justified, maybe in some regards to some specific people, but he painted that hatred all over where it was almost, especially at the beginning when he was like pushing on Father Frank that the only reason he was into Connor was sexually, it was almost vulgar in a bad way. I think I wasn't expecting that much vileness, <laughs> just ugh, dripping with seediness. Ugh. But I can totally see why they would have Lucer be like, okay, so here's this guy he says he doesn't have anything in common with. Maybe he does a little bit. He develops a bit of a respect for him. And then realizing that this man was there to instill some faith in Lucifer just to die. And Lucifer going, what the hell? Does he feel responsible some way or guilty and just full out? I can, I totally see why this would actually backfire again if this was God's plan backfire and make him even more like mm -mm. because that is so this poor man didn't deserve didn't deserve to go out how he did i'm also surprised that when lucifer was going after doyle he didn't do the lucifer face it was just lucifer not the devil face it's not on purpose or was that just a way to save money on special effects but if it was on purpose that is a choice that Lucifer is becoming. And does this make Chloe go, man, he picked that man up with boy one hand and held him there for a really long time. It must be other, otherly. Maybe she was just overwhelmed with whatever else was going on. So if I got this straight, Palmetto, Malcolm was on the take. Chloe, was tracking him down because her suspicions were correct. Dan was tracking Chloe. They were divorcing at this time, separated. Who was each other's partners? Because I don't think a police person would put married people as partners together. So who was each other's partners? Dan follows Chloe. Malcolm was going to shoot Chloe. So therefore Dan shot Malcolm instead. Is that what went down? And how did Malcolm know that Dan was the one that shot him? And how long does this, how many more episodes do we have to do with Palmetto? Because it's not the most interesting thing. Lucifer is the most interesting thing to me at this point in time, as it should be. Where does he, does he retreat further back, gather more weapons to stay still away? Or does he open up more? I don't know. We'll just have to watch and see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I want you there with me as always for that adventure. You guys do make this so much more fun. So thank you so much for being with me. Also, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. It was much appreciated as I go out tonight and celebrate some more like I always do. But in the meantime, till we see again, you, us, until we gather again, take care of yourselves, stretch. This is your reminder to go eat something substantial and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.